Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. In this video we are covering CCNA semester 2 routine and switching essentials and this is chapter 9 access control list. Section 9.5 IPv6 access control lists. Upon completion of this section you should be able to compare IPv4 and IPv6 access control list creation. Configure an IPv6 ACL to filter traffic according to network requirements. Here is IPv4 access control list and IPv6 access control list. And remember the IPv if you remember, IPv4 ACLs we had standard and extended. Standard could be numbered or named, and extended could be numbered and named as well. In IPv6 access control list, they are only named. So we don't have any numbered. And they're all similar to extended. So you can think of an IPv6, we have extended, named only. We don't have numbered, we don't have standard either. Compare an IPv4 and IPv6 access, access control list. Although IPv4 and IPv6 access control list are very similar, there are three significant differences between them. First is applying IPv6 ACL. IPv6 uses the IPv6 traffic filter command to perform the same function for IPv6 interfaces. So remember in IPv4 we said IP access group and then to apply it. In IPv6, we say IPv6 traffic hyphen filter. There's no wildcard mask in IPv6. The prefix length is used to indicate how much of the IPv6 source or destination address should be matched. And additional default statements. There's two implicit statements. Permit, ICMP any any, neighbor discovery, neighbor association. Another permit, ICMP any any, neighbor discovery and neighbor solicitation. So we have those two implicit statements, and then we have implicit deny anyway. So, so three differences, uh, how you apply in IPv6 ACLs, no wildcard mask, and additional default statements. There are three basic steps to configure an IPv6 ACLs. From global configuration mode, use the IPv6 access list, give it name, command to create an IPv6 ACL. From the named ACL configuration, use the permit or deny statement to specify one or more condition to determine if packet is forwarded or dropped. The return to privilege exec mode with the end command. So this is it's a bit more involved in IPv6 for same well similar to extended IPv4 access list. We start with IPv6, if I mark it here, IPv6, that's a AC access list, and then whatever name. You, this is your name you choose to give. Then, after we are we configure that, we go to access list configuration mode, config hyphen IPv6 ACL, and then we can say deny, deny or permit statements. Then we have the protocol. The protocol enters the name of the, or number of the internet protocol or an integer representing IPv6 protocol number. Then we have a source IPv6 address, including the prefix length, so forward slash something. And they can be to any or host and then IP address of that destination. For example, applying an IPv6 ACL to an interface, IPv6 access list, no R3 LAN access, so we deny in this LAN. We go inside the IPv6 access control list configuration, we say deny IPv6 2001 DV8 cafe 30 colon colon forward slash 64 any. So we can apply this as they're coming in. So that's that's our source. It's a source, and it, it will go to any, so it will go in this side or in this side, either way. And then the rest permit IPv6 any any. So we are permitting everything else to go in the in our LANs. And then we go to the interface S00, we say IPv6 traffic filter, and then we match this name to this name down here. Thank you very much for watching this section 9.5 IPv6 ACLs. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnichi.